first history in the making that historic moment playing out on Florida's space coast tonight. A SpaceX rocket blasting off, carrying the first all civilian crew. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jameis Newler. And I'm Wendy Ryan. Thank you for joining us. Let's show you a different angle from our photographer on the ground right outside the Kennedy Space Center. It's a mission of many historic firsts, and SpaceX says this will pave the way for more private citizens to go to space, so it won't be the last. Our Haley Bull is live on the Space Coast tonight, and Haley, hundreds of people came to watch this milestone in space travel for themselves. Jameson, that's right. They wanted to see that incredible sight firsthand. Many here at this park in Titusville, just across the water from the Kennedy Space Center. This is a park that honors space legacy as this next chapter was written tonight. Now, the crews expect us to spend around three days on this mission and target an orbit farther than the current orbits of the International Space Station and Hubble Space Telescope. The all civilian cruise mission includes health research and fundraising for St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. They brought items into space like art and NFT song and even a ukulele that will be later auctioned off as part of that effort. Now on the ground, people watched in amazement as SpaceX's Falcon 9 took off. Some were from around the area. Others drove across the country to be here. Take a listen to what they had to say. I was like, how? How? How are they even doing this? I like to see human ingenuity and creativity, and I thought that was very awesome. My dad asked me on the way here, would you ever go to Mars? And I was like, I don't know. And like, now like, I'm definitely, I would definitely go if I had the opportunity. I heard that from a couple people, but the crew is expected to have a soft water landing off Florida's coast again in a few days. Jameson, Wendy, 